Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Everyday Caddy for the Everyday Guy. As you can see, I'm wearing my white t-shirt, which as you know from my first video, that means it's holster review time. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Chameleon holster from Quantum Carry Solutions. Quantum Carry is a company based out of Cape Town, owned and operated by Matthew Wright. They are extremely popular. If you go on any reputable social forum and ask for a Kydex holster, chances are Quantum Carry's name is going to come up um, in the list of, of quality holster makers here in Cape Town and um, South Africa. So, as with all my reviews, I'm going to be reviewing the concealment, comfortability, retention, and then just any special features or adjustments you may want to do to the holster in order to achieve what you see in this video. So, thanks guys, let's get to it. So, number one is concealment. And I am slightly embarrassed to say, um, in one of my videos where I did the review for the last line of defense holster, I kind of said that it's the only holster I can run with the magazine that has the plus two base plate and after further review with this holster i found that that's not the case so the chameleon holster ultra concealable i'm going to do my usual full 360 but as you can see i'm wearing my white t-shirt virtually no no printing and i'm going to do my rotation now this is sideways on full rear and the other side and yeah, just an excellent holster, ultra concealable, um, does not have the adjustable cant, but what Matthew Wright at Quantum has done is, his R&D has sort of been done perfectly to a point where you don't need to adjust anything. It's perfect exactly where it is, you get the full grip, and as you saw from the previous shots, it does conceal perfectly. Okay, on to comfortability. As you can see, I'm comfortably seated. The holster does sit to the right hand side if you are right hand strong and obviously left hand side if you are left hand strong it doesn't sit directly in the center so it does fall as with my previous ulcers in in sort of in that groove where i don't know maybe god designed that groove for firearm characters firearm carriers who, who carry appendix but it's just it just sits there perfectly i'll do my usual stand up and sit down and it's again no more or less comfortable i'll even go a step further and just try to raise my legs and give you a brief example coincidentally this pants is the the um, infiltrator pants by Urban Warrior. People ask questions about how flexible it is. This is kind of how flexible this pants is to a point where you can do it without, without any issue. Um, the holster, yeah, no comfortability issues. I've worn this holster for many hours sitting down, standing up, moving around. It does it quite tight. I'm very impressed with this clip. There has been a few rumors around these clips failing. And that is something you may need to look into. I personally have never had them fail, but people who I take seriously have told me that, that they do fail. So that might be something you want to consider. I do know Quantum, they do supply soft loops and the normal j clips and things like that. So it's not, it's not a train smash with regard to the solster. And we will discuss the clips and ways around that a bit later on in the video. But from a comfortability perspective, it's... Extremely comfortable, absolutely no problems. Like I say, Quantum Carry, they make magnificent products. Um, and for us like this, it's just perfect. So I am gonna show you sort of two views of, of retention. One is how it sort of comes out of the holster when on your belt. And the other one is how the holster grips the firearm when off your belt. So I think the best way to do this, I'm gonna get this, a smaller grip on the firearm as possible and pull it out. That way you'll see, you'll see how much effort is required to remove the holster from the firearm. So like a two finger grip and there you go and it's out. Not, not much effort. And you can sort of tell by the amount my pants lifts how hard. If my pants are sort of pulling up all the way here you'd know it would be very difficult. But the pants doesn't really lift that much. It's just at that point and it comes out. And then in terms of how well the holster grips the firearm it's, it's as tight as you would need it to be. It's not, it's not moving anywhere. So quite a cool setup, quite well done. But the way to adjust the retention is with these two um, screws over here. It only goes down to a certain point, but as you can see, it cinches pretty perfectly. I've tied them down as tight as they can go. And what that gives me is that maximum retention, but also a really smooth draw, um, which is really good for, for fast drawing. On the personal adjustment topic, I haven't had to make any major personal adjustments to this setup other than to tighten these screws to my 
um, personal preference of, of retention. What I was talking about earlier with regards to this clip, there have been rumors and stories about these clips failing. And that's something you might want to think about. Quantum Carry does sell the, the soft loop, which can go directly onto this. Um, there's, there's two holes behind this clip effectively, so you can take this clip off, put the soft loop directly onto the holster. And they, they do also sell the strut, which sort of goes over there, and then you can put this, the soft loop onto the strut or your normal um, J clip on the strut to make it tuckable. All available from Quantum Carry Solutions. And yeah, in terms of personal adjustments, that's pretty much about it. It is a folded piece of Kydex, so you don't get many options in terms of adjusting the cant. But as you saw earlier on in the video, Matthew Wright has designed this to a point where you don't need to adjust that cant. You can get a full three-finger grip on the, the um, firearm without, without any issues at all. Before we do end off, I do want to show you one super cool thing about this holster. When you remove the claw, which is the claw that was on the side of the holster that, as you saw earlier on, you can carry this at the 3, 4 o'clock position. Quite comfortably, it feels like a normal holster designed for that carry position. Um, and as you can see, I have it here. Guys, obviously, as you know, in all my videos, when I do review also, I do review them with the mags in. When you do switch to the four o'clock position, you kind of have to drop the extended base plate because it does print a bit too much. Obviously, the firearm is safe. And yeah, it fits really comfortably as if it was designed for that. And what's cool about the way this holster is designed, I don't know if Matthew Wright did this on purpose, but reholstering becomes very easy. All you effectively have to do is slide the holster against the sort of front side of the Slide the fire, I'm sorry, against the front side of the holster and it just drops in quite nicely. Which I know reholstering for guys who carry in this position tends to be quite difficult, but this method is, is fairly easy and fairly reliable. I've done it like that for quite a while. When I do go to the range, I do practice strong side and appendix because I do carry both ways on different occasions. So I want to maintain um, readiness and proficiency in. in in both positions. Guys, as always, remember everything you see and hear in this video is my own opinion. Nothing here is a recommendation. And obviously, if you have a safer, more intelligent way of doing things, that's what the comment section is for. Leave it below. I'm always interested in hearing and learning about different people's opinions about different things. So, once again, thank you so much for checking out this video. That is it for this particular one. The also is called the Chameleon Holster from Quantum Carry Solutions. I will link to their website down below. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you want to see more, obviously subscribe. And if you have any questions or statements or you want to know anything, please feel free to leave it in the comment section or email me even. I don't mind. I've gotten a lot of emails about this pants. Um, they've been selling really well. I love it. Excellent. I'm, I'm here. I reply to absolutely everything and I really appreciate all the communication we share, guys. So please, if you want to talk to me about anything, you know, go right ahead. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you soon. God bless.